Is your smartwatch monitoring your heart? Does that even work? My patients show me their watches all the time. It's pretty cool. There's two messages that I believe the most. One, you're a couch potato and need to get off your butt. And two, Apple watches never check for heart attacks. You really need a 12 lead ECG to check for a heart attack. And even then it can be tricky. So no surprise that the watches are least reliable for detecting heart attack. The watches are best at monitoring heart rhythms. They can tell you your heart rate. The gray watch shows an actual rhythm strip, which makes it way more believable. If you want a decent electrogram, the watch will tell you to keep your arm still because then you get a better recording. That means the watch is least accurate when you're active. The watches are very popular for monitoring atrial fibrillation or AFib. This is the most common abnormal heart rhythm and a major cause of stroke. The watches may report a sudden change in your heart rate, which suggests AFib, or tell you that your heartbeats are irregular, which is actually how we diagnose atrial fibrillation. And the watch may then tell you how much AFib you're having overall. Here it predicts that atrial fibrillation is present 16% of the time. Again, I would trust the watch more if I could see the electrogram. Some patients have figured out how to store those. Here's a scientific study from 2025 comparing the Apple Watch to a special ring monitor. The watch missed one in three AFib episodes and 20% of the recordings were inconclusive. Both struggled with rhythms other than atrial fibrillation. So your watch is helpful, but the technology still has a ways to go.